BMW's 3 Series has traditionally spawned both a two-door coupe and a two-door convertible. But starting with the F30 generation 3 Series, that's no longer the case. Or to be more specific, the two doors are now called 4 Series. So you'll get a 4 Series coupe and a 4 Series convertible. BMW says that the 3 Series and the 4 Series are different enough to warrant the different badges. We're about to find out if that is in fact the case. Those familiar with a 4 Series Coupe will already know that the newcomer is substantially different compared to the 4 door 3 Series, thanks to a lower, more athletic stance and a more rakish, more aggressive appearance. No surprise then that the 4 Series convertible reflects a similar exterior design approach, but with the added glamour of a fold-away all-metal top that disappears at the push of a button. This fifth generation 4 Series convertible is also the largest, but it is more balanced, more cohesive and more attractive than its sedan stablemate. There's a slight pagginess to the rear of course which has to swallow the all metal roof, but for the rest there's elegance and sportiness in equal parts. Apart from the roof, the most prominent feature of the 435i convertible's appearance is the front end treatment, which is sleeker and more aggressive than the sedans. The air breathers behind the front wheels reduce drag, while the hungrier air intakes, stylized kidney grills, and slimmer headlights all contribute to a uniquely sporty appearance. The all-metal roof can be raised or lowered at the push of a button, transforming the car from handsome coupe to glamorous open topper in less than 20 seconds. Our test car is the range-topping 435i convertible, which means it's powered by a turbocharged 3-litre straight-six engine, good for 225 kilowatts of maximum power and a whopping 400 newton meters of torque. Drive is to the rear wheels via an 8-speed Steptronic gearbox, but it has a nice sporty shift and, of course, paddle shifts behind the steering wheel. Frankly, the convertible probably doesn't need all that urge, considering that most owners will want to cruise with the roof folded away as often as possible. Turbulence is fairly well contained at normal speeds, and even with the top down, the heater will keep occupants quite toasty. But it can get gusty and noisy, so for those in a hurry, driving with the roof up will be the more unruffled option. The upmarket cockpit is a civilized and well-equipped space. The interior is typically BMW with a good combination of class, luxury and technology. The four-seat interior is very spacious in front and pretty adequate at the back, although I have to say it does get a bit cramped, especially with the roof in place. And talking about the roof, it does compromise boot space as well. That said, when the roof is stowed, a clever load assistance system will raise the entire roof assembly to ease boot access. Load capacity increases from 220 to 370 litres with the roof raised. The cockpit is racy with a sport steering wheel and form-hugging seats. Vents directly behind the driver's head can deliver hot air as part of a neck heating system, perfect for chilly winter's mornings. Rear accommodation is more generous than the previous models, but with the roof up, the thick C-pillar and low roofline can make the rear feel claustrophobic, while getting in and out is still awkward. Convertibles tend to have a reputation for scuttle shake and a lack of chassis integrity, but I have to say, this 4 Series really feels solid and together, and it's pretty quick too. The 0 to 100 time in the 5 second bracket, which means it really is a sports car in performance terms, top speed, as academic as it is, about 250 kilometers an hour. But it's really the mid-range punch that uh, impresses me here. There's a lot of urge from low down, and overtaking slow traffic in this car is a matter of just putting your foot down and giving it stick. Considering its curb mass of around 1.7 tons, the 435's get up and go is impressive. The suspension may feel a bit too taut, but there's plenty of confidence boosting feedback from the chassis. According to the factory specs, fuel consumption for the combined cycle should come to 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres, but our real world figures suggest a thirst of between 10 and 11 litres per 100 kilometres. The 435i convertible warrants its 4 series nomenclature with a package that is prettier to look at, sportier to drive and more grown up than its predecessor. It's certainly an elegant and attractive car, but it's the dynamic capability that really leaves the lasting impression.
It may not be the lightest, but with a lively straight-six turbo engine, the 435i convertible always feels fast and responsive with a sporty chassis setup to match. A tin top means you get a coupe and a convertible rolled into one, but it's thirstier than the stats suggest and both boot capacity and boot access are compromised.